grand opening, grand closing. Welcome, my friends, my family, my fellow gamers. Your only friend is YouTube Streets Port Rock 77. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you enjoy it. And if you do, hit the like button. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. I have plenty of new content. Please check those out. And I hope you stick around and enjoy the rest of the new content I'll be pushing out. Let's talk about this right here. Right? Apparently, PS5 Pro dev kits are out in the wild. And conversations, rumors has it that Sony's concerned that the stuff might be leaked. There's already some leaks. Let me show you what's being put out there. Now, let me start with this right here. CPU, 4 nanometer, AMD Zen 2, A core, 16 threads, up to 4.4 gigahertz variable. GPU, AMD, Raytheon Custom, RDNA 3, 56 to 60 CUs, compute units. Chances are the 60 is the yield, but they're only gonna, I mean, 60 is what they're gonna make, but 56 will probably be what the system will ultimately have. Two gigahertz to 2.5 gigahertz variable. Because of variable, you know, frequency, minimum 14 T flops up to 29 T flops at max capacity. Two times hardware, hardware ray tracing acceleration. RAM 16 gigs, gigabits of gigabytes of GDR6 unified. This time 576 gigabits of memory bandwidth on a 256 bit bus. Storage will have two terabytes, same speed, 5.5 gigabits. And you got the ports and accelerator. Now, listen, I'm not gonna front. Okay. I am not gonna sit here and lie to you and tell you what those stats could potentially result in. But you're gonna get that. You're gonna get that for all the tech guys from usual. And some are more credible, some are very good with tech, but I'm not gonna pretend to that. I'm not gonna out here and fraud. What I am gonna do, what we should all do, instead of interpreting specs from a paper sheet and predict this is what we're gonna get from it, we should talk about what we just expect the ps5 pro or from any console we shouldn't try to interpret specs and say this is what it's going to do because we already seen how that fails it's time that we learn and grow from our mistakes so instead of trying to interpret stuff how about we just say this is what it needs to be whatever the numbers you guys are pushing out whatever the numbers sony microsoft whoever pushes out nah this is the expectation you better hope your platform or whatever console you make meets this expectation. So I'm going to say what's my realistic expectation of the PS5 Pro if it's supposed to be worth is weight and salt. I'm not going to go argue for native 4K because to be honest, I think the whole resolution for clarity is dead going after native. But she got high-end PCs like the 4090, they are pushing DLSS, DLSS for better performance and all those trickeries for fake 4K, I think that conversation has moved on. So I don't care if the Pro does fake 4K using super resolution or whatever, temporal injection, whatever it does. What I do care, I think, is two things. Two. Number one. For this console to be worth its weight in salt, it should have ultra settings or play games at what would be equivalent on PC to ultra settings. All those switches and toggles and metrics maxed out. Because the PS5 and the Xbox Series X are not playing every game with maxed out settings. They have high, medium, you know, Digital Foundry has done you know, their head to heads and analysis and they showed a, hey, some settings are medium, some settings are high, maybe one or two, you know, uh, you know, ultra quality very few times, but for the most part, you know, high setting type consoles. Mm -mm. The pro, this right here, you need to be ultra on everything. Ultra on everything, okay? Fake 4K, temporal injection 4K, whatever. You would do the little trickeries for clarity that you want. But for the settings, 
ultra across the board. And I promise you, the games will look incredible. It will be a discernible, discernible difference between what the PlayStation 5 is doing, what the Xbox Series X is doing. The Pro with ultra settings across all toggles. That is what we, we should have. That, I'm telling you, we should be arguing for that. That's one. Two. 60 FPS is the default. There is no 30 FPS mode. That It doesn't make sense to come out with a Pro and you're still messing with 30 FPS. No, 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 no. 60 FPS is the standard mode. Performance mode is 100 FPS or higher. That's it. That's the default stance for the product. There is no game still running at 30 FPS on the Pro. No. That number 30? Mm -mm. Nope. No 30 for the Pro. None. Does not exist. 60 frames. Default stance. Performance mode. 100 plus frames. That's it. That's it. That's why we should hold it. Right? To expect anything less, then what the hell are we doing for if you're still messing with 30 frames? You're going to buy a whole new console, call it the Pro, and your running game still at 30. Come on, bro. Nope. 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 Come on. 60. Period. The full stands. Okay? I don't care about the whole native 4K or, or checkerboard 8K. Nah, nah. Do your little trickery for fake 4K. That's fine. But let's get these ultra settings. With a default FPS of 60? Then the Pro will have justified its existence. Anything less than that, then why even bother? You're just minimal, incremental. Nah, man, don't, you, should, you should not even waste your time. Don't even waste your time for no incremental. Give us ultra settings. And default 60 frames. Period. Period. Sony does that for this. Yeah. Yeah, you got something. Oh, you definitely got something. Okay. Now, one last thing I want to say. And this is more about 2024 is going to be real interesting when this sucker gets announced. If it does deliver ultra settings. 60 frames default, performance mode 100 frames or higher, and you clearly see between this and the two consoles that are out now, PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X, and it just, the graphics is not even, you, you clearly see a discernible difference, like holy cow, at 60 frames, this thing beasting, I want to see all you dudes, you know who you are, all you dudes that talk that talk about you buy consoles, of the performance and you guys chose the xbox series x because you swear the performance is there let's see how you move let's see if you really if you really mean that because right, y'all hiding behind that xbox because the performance the, the performance ain't that great on the xbox series x but yeah i swear it is all right be, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna see we're gonna see how you move we're gonna see if you stay true to your word about to find out now you don't have to buy it you know what I'm saying buy what you want enjoy what you want okay all i'm testing is your word not testing your pockets buy what you buy i'm interested in your word do you mean what you say that's it but there's a lot of frauds in this community that just be saying a lot of stuff and they don't back it up no one cares as owning your word as a man. None of y'all want to do that. A lot of y'all. I ain't going to say none of y'all. A lot of y'all don't want to do that. Y'all just say and mouth off anything. But when it comes push comes to shove, you flounder. You fail. You never meant it. But we're about to see what your word means in the gaming community. And I'll just end off with that. Let me know what you think in the comments section. Are you one of them dudes? That bought the console because you want the performance because you primarily play third party. You want the best. And if so, are you getting the pro? Are you holding to your word? It's on you. Also, let me know what your expectation is for the PlayStation 5 Pro. Because that's the conversation we need to have. Talk about expectation. 
This is Porter Rock 77, your only friend in these YouTube streets. Thank you for checking out the video. I will see you guys tomorrow. 60 frames, no lag. That's right, tomorrow, Tuesday. 5.30 p.m. Pacific, 8.30 p.m. Eastern. Let's go. Peace. Grand opening, grand closing.